Some folk have asked me why I bother arguing with Bill Gady at all. There are a number of reasons for this, but I think the most important one is that not many people are putting counter-arguments to his in the form of videos. He gets plenty of comments on his own videos, although if you look carefully you'll probably notice that about three quarters of all the comments are his own. I haven't noticed Bill commenting on any other videos. Maybe he does, but as far as I can tell, the vast majority of his commenting is on his own videos, which makes me suspect that he is not really receptive or even interested in other people's points of view, and that his main purpose, his main uh, reason for making videos at all is just to spread his own ideas, his own rather strange way of looking at the universe. He responds in great detail to other people's arguments and uh, will quite often put um, you know 15 or 20 or more comments together and number them all very neatly. Um, as I've mentioned before he can quite often become quite abusive in his comments and uh, call people idiots and morons and worse. Now, he makes the claim that what he does is explain rationally. Um, he says that that is what science does, and that is the only thing that science does, is to explain things rationally. Now, I would say that uh, Rational explanations are an important part of science, but that's not all there is to it. Science deals with the natural world and describes as well as explains where possible. And that includes gathering information and uh, forming hypotheses and, very importantly, testing them. One thing which Bill says is that science has nothing to do with experiment or verification or pursuing the truth or any, any of those things. Um, like I said before, he says it's only about rational explanation. Now this seems to narrow the whole scope of science down so much that it turns it into something which is not science. So the important thing or message I'd like to get through to Bill Gady is if he wants to redefine science and physics, fine, but uh, give it some other name. You know, invent your own word which you can substitute for science and physics because clearly what he's talking about is something different, something else. There are some who have suggested that Bill Gady is not quite the full shilling and that he has uh, mental health problems which could well be the case um, I don't really know, I'm not, uh, not an expert on these subjects he has certainly uh, made many accusations of that type against me saying that I'm uh, one of the biggest lunatics on the face of the earth and calling me um, completely insane makes me question um, what he's basing that upon. It really does. Does he have some kind of an insight into mental health problems which I don't? I think that Bill is overcompensating for something. If my arguments really were that bad, that irrational, then why not just concentrate and focus on the arguments themselves instead of going on and on and on about how I'm the biggest idiot to walk the face of the earth etc etc I would like to thank everybody who commented on my last video and uh, in particular Unassumption, Justin Temper and Dicassi Jake I think his name is. Uh, there are many others too, but uh, those in particular have been 
commenting at length. Um, the first two standing up for what I would think of as reason and sanity and to Cassie Drake has been defending Bill Gady and his ideas. Interestingly, um, there hasn't been any comment at all from Bill Gady himself, which I think makes it seem as if he has a policy of only commenting on his own videos. Could be wrong, but uh, he has commented about me um, and my video, but on his own video and on a um, Facebook page called, funnily enough, Rational Science. Something I didn't make that clear, um, and that is because the video was not scripted in any way, not prepared or rehearsed, um, just off the top of my head, very much like this one. Um, now I'm well aware that kilograms are the SI unit of mass, and that uh, in scientific circles mass is referred to in units of kilograms. But kilograms are also uh, used as a unit of weight measurement. Any weighing scales, um, I, don't, I don't know about America because they still use the imperial units more than we do here in the UK, but in the UK and Europe especially, any bathroom scales that you stand on will have uh, kilograms. And any car you buy, if you look at the uh, little plate on the inside um, that tells you the specifications of the car will give you the weight of the car in kilograms. Um, now obviously weight is uh, the measurement of an object which is being uh, in a gravitational field. One thing which has happened in the comments is that some of the discussion has gone off on a tangent and it has got round to 9-11. Now interestingly enough, Bill Gady has another channel which he calls GW Laden and he made a load of videos and posted about 9-11 and posted them on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Uh, they didn't, they haven't had that many views, a few hundred at most and almost no comments. So he's probably keen to draw a veil on that and uh, I haven't seen him mention or heard him mention this other channel on his Bill Gady channel in, in which he talks about science and physics or he tries to destroy established theories. As well as calling me the biggest idiot who ever walked the earth, Bill Gady has uh, criticised Carl Sagan and Richard Feynman. This is despite having quoted Richard Feynman a, num a number of times favor favourably to support his own arguments, he still calls Richard Feynman an idiot. Unfortunately, Sagan and Feynman are not still around to speak up for themselves, so that's another reason why I feel compelled to tackle Bill Gady.